So starting in about 2012, uh, after a few years of contemplation and planning, um, Kofan Cabin, which is on uh, Sand Beach Lake, or near Sand Beach Lake, is sort of nestled near the outflow, a little bit hidden if you're not looking for it. Uh, it was agreed by many people, many users and volunteers, um, that it should be restored. And so through about three or four years in a row, there'd be one or two work parties. So the main thing that needed to be fixed was the lower logs were actually sinking into the ground. And so the cabin is really close to a bog, uh, so the conditions are kind of moist. Uh, decaying wood is an issue. It's going to happen. But, uh, so the cabin had gotten so low uh, that the wood was decaying. So we had to replace about two, uh, maybe three logs on one side. Uh, so that involved uh, locally sourcing trees from around the cabin, uh, just a few, and then uh, using those new logs to replace the old logs. And we made sure that we lifted the, the cabin so that they wouldn't um, rot into the ground again. So we did that. Uh, we added a new floor and then we added a new roof. Um, and since then it's just been looking fantastic. It's waterproof. Um, a lot of Toby Attic paddlers and hikers have been using it and uh, people have just sent in uh, so many thanks and well wishes and a lot of appreciation because the Kofan cabin is a little bit of a, it's kind of the heart of the Toby Attic uh, and it's also the heart of the Shelton River. It's right around the middle part of the river and so if you're, uh, if you're getting acquainted with that river you're bound to stay a few nights at the Kofan cabin so we're really delighted that it's in good shape now.